So we're here with Pops. This is Daniel's dad. Al's will be quiet. Um, this is Daniel's dad, Lou. And a couple years ago, you were really sick, huh, Pop? Oh, yeah. Big time. So you had heart problems, and we were very worried about dad. And um, Daniel was actually really scared. Daniel's actually taking the video right now. We're here because we've been out for our walk, and then we come over. You come over every Sunday, right, Daniel? I do. So Daniel comes over and works out with Pop every Sunday. And a couple years ago, Daniel was really scared because we'll tell him why, Daniel. Well, because Pop was really sick, and uh, I wanted him to be around for a very long time. And you weren't able to get up out of your chair very much, no, and you were feeling much. really no, sick. No, I had a bad heart. And you had that talk like, I'm old, leave me alone. It's too late for me, right? Because there's a lot of people watching who have that same feeling. Right. It's too late for me. So Daniel comes over. You guys started off really slow. Right. And now he's got him really strong. So we want to show you some basic things. But in addition to the weights, you also like to do gardening. So oh, we, yeah. always, we tell people to do what they love. So sure. you love gardening. You love golf. You love doing things like that outside, oh, yeah. right? Yeah. So that's what Pop does. And we want to show you some of the things he does. So if you think it's too late for you, tell him how old you are. He's 87. 87 years never, old. Never too late. It's never too late. Never too late. So you've been doing this for how long? Pardon? You've been doing this for how long? Oh, about a year now, man. About yeah, a year? almost a year and a half. Yeah. He's a beast. And Last week he left 16,000 pounds. Right. Through right. the whole workout, right? Through the whole and, workout. Um, and how much have you lost now? Well, 38 pounds. Okay, that's awesome. So now that's that much less of a load and um, burden to his heart. And so now wait do you see how strong he is. So I'm going to record a little bit of their workout, just okay. in case you think it's too late for you. Okay, so I'm going to take over the camera now. You guys can get your workout going. Sorry. Okay. We've, got, we've got little beasts. What weight is that? All right, so we've got a... Daniel's setting up. So we got him a basic little... Um, did you get this for him for Christmas, Daniel? I did. So we got him a basic little home gym. And then... You you show you sort of do the first one and then you have Pop do the next one. No, we both work out together. But you do the first set and then Dad yeah. does the okay. Dad has one set, I do one set. Okay, and what is you what do you set that on? That's for triceps. What do you set that on? We're gonna start at sixty. So they're starting at sixty pounds for triceps. All right, Pop, you're up. This is a guy who couldn't get out of bed about a year and a half ago, but he's staying super active now. And you do this every week with him, right? We do. And so he just, you guys look forward to this little workout you do together. So we always tell people all movement matters. Just start somewhere. Um, a lot of people get really, really focused on doing everything perfectly on what the perfect type of workout is. Easier. And honestly, they get easier, so hung right. up. Not easy, but right. So um, people get really hung up on the perfect type of workout, all of that stuff. So keep your upper arms still. Yeah, keep your elbows kind of pinned to you if you can. But like I said, do it. Just move. All movement matters. Because eventually you'll get stronger and stronger and your form will get better and better. And we just want you moving. So do something you love. What do you do after triceps? What's up next? So we may do abs, we're going to do biceps, we're going to do chest, we're going to do back. And Aslan's going to work out with them. Aslan went for a walk today too, so yeah. got to give your puppy lots of exercise too. So there's Pops again. So it's never too late. And people always ask us, is walking, is walking good for you for exercise and the answer is absolutely all movement matters just don't be still that's what we want you to focus on if you like gardening like pop does then garden if you like golf then yeah, golf go up a bit. Go up a little bit. so they're gonna up the weight a little mm -hmm. bit now see how daniel has his elbows in tight try to focus on that more but just keep moving and don't do it so heavy we'd rather you do lighter weight and better form than focusing on going heavy. See if you can just do seven of those. They're a little bit heavier. So, and that's another good point you made. So we're trying to build a little bit of muscle for Pops. So you don't have to do a ton of them. Go 
you can do a little heavier weight and less reps. Very nice. Very good. I've got someone saying they do Zumba four times a week, but need to start up again with weight training. Excellent. Well, Zumba's great. And yes, if you're a woman, weight training is really important. Uh, we want you weight training. Uh, for females, weight training is one of the best ways to prevent osteoporosis, weight-bearing exercise. It also makes you more insulin sensitive. So that's why we recommend building some muscle. Also, as you get older, frailty is the, actually the number one cause of death. Everyone thinks that it is disease, which technically it is. But the thing is, is the reason disease gets you is because when you're frail, you can't get up and move. And movement is what protects you. It's when you're still that you get sick. It's when you get pneumonia. It's when you break a hip and you can't move. You get all these diseases that end up taking you down. So the more muscle you have on your body, the longer you're going to be healthy. Oh my God, baby. <laughs> so don't make it so heavy you're going to get hurt. Make sure you can actually do it. That's okay for you, Pop? Yeah, no, it's what we do. We need to make sure his form is good, though, that he's doing it. Good job. It's like Aslan. Sometimes he whines a little bit. <laughs> Whining is okay as long as he's <laughs> able to do it safely. That's what we did last week. Huh? So, all right. I'm going to eat it. You go to eat it. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we want you safe. Better that your form is good. <laughs> so other benefits of exercise, it's good for your brain. Helps you sleep better. It's good for your immunity. It's good for your heart. Keeps your bones strong. Fights depression. Fights anxiety. <laughs> Sorry guys, I'm I've got bad connection, so I may not be able to do this workout with you guys. But that's enough. So how many times a week? Someone's asking how many times a week uh, weight training. I I do it at least three. Um, but if you just do two, even that's going to be helpful. If you're doing other that's types of fun. training as well, like I do karate. Um, so if I, if I do karate a couple times a week and weight training three times a week, or if you do karate three times a week and weight, weight training twice a week or whatever it is you're doing, if you're doing Zumba four times a week and weight training, we'll weight see. training, let's see if I can say that twice a week, that's good. So it depends on what else you're doing, but at least twice a week. I'd say three, but that's cause I like weights and it's hard. You know, women don't build a ton of muscle naturally. So you have to work at it. I might get cut off here. If I get cut off, I'll try and reconnect a second time. Down. Down. Hi, Adrian. Adrian's watching us. Adrian's on Yo, all the time. Adrian. <laughs> Yo, Adrian. <laughs> Adrian, remind me, I know you are from, uh, where are you from again? He's from somewhere in the Eastern Bloc, right? I can't keep track of all of you guys, but. In the Eastern Bloc. <laughs> yeah, he is. It's awesome. They watch, no, they watch from all over. It's awesome. They get all these really cool messages from all over the world. It's so much fun. All right, we're going to 100 pounds. Mm. It's a piece of cake for five. All right, what are you doing now? We're doing ab crunches. Oh, now we're doing ab crunches. Okay, so pull pounds. downs. So this is what they do for their abs quite frequently. They also do planks. And this is where dad is super competitive and he likes to do planks. Um, if no matter what Daniel does, he's going to go 10 seconds longer. It's hilarious actually. What are you doing Aslan? You got a white tail in the way of the workout. Yes. Yeah, someone's posting progress, not perfection. I agree. Progress, not perfection. Perfection is, the, is an excuse to fail. People keep waiting until they think they can get it perfect and they just wait forever or they check out, take 
pick up their toys and go home. Just do something. 100 pounds. This is Pop doing 100 pounds. Very nice, Pop. Progress, not perfection. Very nice. That is our saying for the day. So if you think it's too late, yeah. Pop is 87 years old. So like I like to say, what's your excuse? He's going to feel better at 90. We just got to keep him going. Yeah, just got to keep moving. Okay, it's 15. <laughs> careful, careful getting up. No falling. So I would like to know what you guys are doing today. Somebody write in and tell me what your, um, what your movement activity is for the day. Would love to know. We went walking. After I'm done with this, I'm going to go do my work, weight workout. I actually have a walking treadmill that I love. So while I am answering emails and doing things like that, answering my Facebook questions, I walk at a slow pace on my walk on my um, treadmill desk. It's super cool. I have a desk set up for my computer and I walk at a slow pace just so I'm not sitting still. You don't have to walk fast. It just keeps you from sitting because sitting is like the new smoking. So really bad for creating inflammation and lots of diseases. So that's why we do that. So people are saying you're an inspiration, Pop. That's what we want. We like to show stories of inspiration. See, what this is going to do, this is going to help Pop. It's going to prevent falls. It's going to give him better function as he ages. So it prevents, you know, it's going to give him much more mobility, independence, freedom. So, very nice. So somebody wrote in what she's doing. Slow treadmill, handrails, rebounder, hula hoop. I love that hula hoop. That's cool. Tai Chi. Yay! I love martial arts. So if you're doing martial arts and not hitting, getting hit in the head, then um, you might want to help him up, honey. This is okay. This is the third one, right? Hmm? Just be sure you're when you're getting up, pop. You don't you don't no. want to hurt your back. No, I'm not. Um, martial arts is amazing um, at core. It's a good brain exercise for um, because it requires complex moves and coordination on both sides of your body. As long as you are not doing the kind of martial arts, especially as you're getting older, where you get hit in the head. So, um, but I love martial arts training. It's so much fun. Someone else is going for a bike ride. Love that. Very nice. See, all movement matters. We just want you out and moving. And that's one of the best ways to combat depression and anxiety. It's actually been shown to be as effective as medic as like antidepressants. Right, Daniel? Yes, ma'am. So tell us about the studies with antidepressants and exercise. Well, after 12 weeks, exercise and antidepressants are equally effective. After 10 months, exercise is more effective. Um, and many people don't know if you're on antidepressants. It actually, over time, they'll cause your brain to need them in order to feel okay. Where exercise doesn't do that, although we should always be exercising. It's the best natural treatment for depression, uh, ADD, and it helps stave off cognitive problems like dementia. Awesome. My uh, battery is getting low, so I am actually going to have to check out of here pretty soon. Would love your questions, your comments, and um, let me know what you're doing to stay active. And go get your parents moving, your aunts, your uncles. Go inspire them and tell them that it's never too late. So share this if you know somebody who needs to move but is thinking that it's too late. Someone else is saying walking their dogs while listening to an audiobook. That's awesome. But do me a favor. If you're a female, only wear one side of your earbuds so you can still hear. It's the number one way women get themselves into trouble is by not being able 30. to be aware of their environment. 50, 50. All right. You just did 30. That's 30, awesome. 30,000 pounds. 30 of those. Tell people to get moving. <laughs> All right, we're gonna we're gonna 